Hello everyone. In this video, let's discuss the structure of a C program. So here it starts with hash include stdio.h. Okay. Here I am commenting. So double slash we use to comment the code. So this line is particularly called as preprocessor directive. So here the comments will not be included in the program for the execution. It is just for a reference. The hash include stdio.h is called preprocessor directive. stdio.h is called as header file. So here it tells the compiler to include the content of the stdio.h header file to the program. Okay. Here stdio.h contains the declarations for the input and output so stdio.h is called as standard input and output the functions which is required to get the input value from the user and to print it to the output screen all the declarations are present inside the header file called stdio.h then we'll go for int main so here we call it as the main function the execution of the program always starts from the main function okay here we are going to print hello world so let me print so if you want to print something i have to use the function called printf so whatever the content i am going to give inside double quotes that will be printed to the output screen so i am going to give hello world so here printf is an inbuilt function which is present inside the header file called stdio.h that is why when i give printf and the content in double quotes that will be printed to the output screen all the declarations are present inside the header file called stdio.h so here let me save the code and let me run the code so when i execute the code i have got the output value was hello world fine now let's see how the code is getting executed so whenever the code is going for the execution it takes certain steps the first one we call it as pre processing so in pre processing hash include stdio.h is handled by the pre processor so here the pre processor replace this line with the actual contents of stdio.h header file where it contains the declarations of the input or output functions like scanf and printf at this stage that is the pre processing stage the pre processor directive will remove the comments whatever the comments which we have given in the program it will be removed after pre processing your code looks bigger because now it contain all the declarations of the input or output functions like scanf and printf after pre processing it goes to the compilation stage the pre processed code so first step pre processing it is done so here i can say source code is converted to pre processed code okay after pre processing we go for compilation okay here the pre processor code is sent to the compiler now the compiler will check for the syntactical errors if no error this code will translate into assembly code that is pre processed code is converted to assembly language like machine instructions where humans also can read to some extent once after the compilation is done it is moved to the next step called assembly so here what happens the assembly code is converted into the object code that is binary form by the assembler so here assembly code is converted to object code okay at this point the program is partially a machine code but still incomplete because printf is not defined at inside your program so after this it will go for the linking okay the linker comes into play so here what does it do it links the object code because earlier assembly has been converted into the 
object code so here the object code it links your object code with the required library files like actual code for print of scan of because that is what present inside the header file called sreview.h the result is an executable file so here the object code is converted into executable file converted to executable file finally it will be moved to loading when you run the program the loader loads the executable into memory it set up an environment so that the execution can begin from the main function okay next to loading stage it goes for the execution stage so here execution what happens the cpu starts executing instructions from the main function so when i go inside it encounters printf so whatever i have given in the double quotes that will be printed this calls the library function printf so it has been resolved during the linking stage because in the linking stage the function has been linked the function sends the hello world text to the standard output device that is nothing but our screen output screen once it is done we have to exit the code so for exiting here what i have to do i have to give return 0 so this states that the function has to return an integer value called zero when it returns the integer value zero to the compiler it states that the program has been successfully executed when we are executing the program earlier we have not given return zero but still it will not throw me any error but when you are giving return zero it tells the compiler that the program has been successfully completed when you are giving the value as zero the zero integer value will be returned to the compiler saying that the program has been successfully completed so once after execution what happened exit that's all so these are all the stages for the execution of the program okay so here with return zero let me execute the code see i have commented so many lines i'm going to execute i've got the output value as hello world that's all